f from this interval this closed interval to r and this function fx is x square cos 1 by x when x not equal to 0 it is 0 when x equal to 0 in the options they are asking about whether this function is bounded variation or not in that considered interval and they are also asking what is going to be the correct relation for f dash x in some option they are asking whether f dash x mod of f dash x less or equal to 1 and in the fourth option they are asking mod of f dash x less or equal to 3 okay. to solve this kind of problem of function of bounded variation you should know a result which says that suppose your function fx fx and you are considering x in that interval say here we are considering minus 1 1 okay and if your functions derivative that means f dash x exist and that f dash x should be bounded if that f dash x is bounded in minus 1 1 in that interval if it is bounded then we will say that our function fx fx is a function of bounded variation in that considered interval okay this is a theorem or result but we are going to use this result to solve this problem fine now your function fx is this one look at no problem of this function considering the derivative but at x equal to 0 simply check that whether the derivative exists or not if it is clear to you intuitively then no problem but for just for your verification purpose you can simply check whether the derivative exists or not at x equal to 0 because it has no problem in the other points thus you can check so it is going to be h square cos of 1 by h minus 0 by h so it is going to be 0 no problem derivative exists at x equal to 0 and remaining point obviously the derivative will exist no problem with that ok fine now what is going to be the derivative of this function do the derivative and you will have 2x into cos of 1 by x minus is going to be sine of 1 by x fine now look at take the modulus both side and what you have look at 2 x cos 1 by x minus sine 1 by x small mod ok now this one you can immediately write like this way 2 mod of x cos 1 by x plus mod of sine 1 by x fine ok here it is 2 mod x cos 1 by x plus mod sine 1 by x fine ok so you have this kind of stuff in your hand that mod of f dash x it is less or equal to less or equal to 2 into mod x cos 1 by x plus mod sine 1 by x fine now look at x belongs to this interval that means mod of x is going to be less or equal to 1 in that interval 
use that relation and you also know that mod of cos 1 by x it is less or equal to 1 sin 1 by x it is less or equal to u 1 use all these facts here and you will get and finally you have f dash x less or equal to 3 that means and your x belongs to in that interval fine that means the derivative of fx exists and it is bounded in that considered interval so the final conclusion by using that previous result is f belongs to function of bounded variation class in that considered interval that means f is a function of bounded variation in that interval so the first option says the same thing as we have proved and your fourth option is a straightforward answer from this step okay immediately says that third one is false and come to your second option second option says that f dash x is bounded variation on that interval on that considered interval okay so it has different kind of techniques to prove or disprove this one but uh, we are claiming that this is a false statement so we just need a counter example to disprove this one okay for that simply you take x equal to 0 x equal to 0 belongs to in that interval and observe it carefully that your f dash x your f dash x no problem with that it will contribute 0 at x equal to 0 but whenever you are approaching to x equal to 0 this part will simply blows up that means this one will contribute infinity so f dash x will have a tendency to approach infinity as we approach x equal to 0 so you can get the flavor that in that considered interval f dash x has a tendency to approach infinity so the variation for this function will not be finite so it is not a function of not a function of bounded variation in that considered interval okay so simply this kind of intuitive logic you can use to disprove that your f dash x is not a function of bounded variation in that considered interval thus your second option is false okay